Don't hold your breath, but we're very close to hitting a major milestone in human history. Some scientists say the next couple of centuries will be a make or break situation for us. Will we be a measly type zero civilization forever? Or will we blast off into the stars like the boss level beings we are? Don't know what a type zero civilization is? Let me explain. As our species gets bigger and smarter, our energy needs go through the roof. And that's not just because we all want to keep our hair dryers running, but also because all our fancy machines need energy too. Our transportation devices, factories, and communication tools. The Kardashev scale is useful in measuring how advanced a civilization is, based on how much energy they've got. So far, there are seven theoretical levels a civilization can be at, according to most specialists. I'll spare you the Google search. Some scientists have estimated that humans are at a mere level of 0.72. <laughs> We're not even a type 1 yet? The scale was invented by a scientist named Nikolai Kardashev in 1964. He created it to help look for signs of life in space through the signals it might give off. His scale has three main levels that show the amount of energy a civilization has access to. Over the years, other scientists added many more levels, which are even more advanced. This scale not only shows energy access, but also how much knowledge a civilization has. A Type 1 designation is when a species can gather and store all the energy from a nearby star to power its growing population. This means we need to increase our energy production 100,000 times to reach this status. Some scientists say we could reach type 1 in 100 to 200 years. But for that, we would need to harness all the energy on Earth. It sounds amazing, but compared to what advanced societies with higher rankings can do, this is just a basic level of control. The next level of civilization is called type 2. They can control their whole nearby star and use all of its energy. One way we might be able to do this one day is by building something called a Dyson Sphere. I'll spare you the technical details, but it's like a giant ball that goes around a star and collects all its energy, then sends it back to the planet it came from. With this much energy, nothing in science could destroy a Type 2 civilization. If humans became a Type 2 and a moon-sized object was headed toward Earth, we could just vaporize it or even move Jupiter to block it. Type 3 civilizations become energy experts and can travel through the galaxy. Humans who evolve into this type may look very different from us, like machines with both biological and robotic parts. They might even look down on regular humans. <laughs> who knows? It's unlikely you'll make friends with a Type 3 person. That's what I'm saying. These humans might also have colonies of robots that can replicate and spread across the galaxy. But there are limits to their travel because of the laws of physics, or at least those that we know today. That is, unless they invent a new way to travel faster than light or teleport through wormholes, which are currently only theories. Kardashev believed that a Type 4 civilization could not exist. That's the reason why he did not go beyond a Type 3 on his original scale. He thought Type 3 was the limit any species could achieve. Some people agree with him, but others think there could be even higher levels of civilization. Type 4 civilizations and up were theoreticized by other scientists. A Type 4, for instance, would be able to harness all the energy in the universe and even live inside black holes. This kind of technology would need to use laws of physics that we don't understand yet and might not even have the resources to discover at this point. Type 5 is even more mind-boggling. This would be a level where beings have the power to control the universe itself. It would also exist in a world with multiple parallel universes. Humans are far from ever reaching this level. But if we take care of our planet and each other, Who's to say it can't be possible one day? These types of civilizations would have the ability to travel to different universes and even be able to create our own. 
they have control over reality, and their population would be so large, it would be, in theory at least, indestructible. A Type VI civilization is even more powerful. They would have the means not only to create and travel to other universes, but also to control the basic functioning rules of these worlds. They would exist in a lot of different universes at the same time, and they could affect all the laws of physics as we know them. They also exist in many different versions of space and time, with different pasts and futures. A civilization that is categorized as a Type 7 or K7 is capable of traveling and controlling the entire Omniverse. The Omniverse is a term that refers to every universe, dimension, and reality that exists. This level of power is thought to come from an individual rather than a civilization, as the civilization would have merged into one entity that is all-knowing, all-powerful, and present everywhere. Okay, let's slow down for a bit. Before we reach all these incredible levels, we at least need to become level one, right? But what would that take? Right now, humans are not advanced enough to be considered a type one civilization because we only use a few sources of energy, like wood, coal, and oil. But there are many other sources out there that we haven't discovered or used yet we'd need to rely solely on renewable sources, like wind, sun, and water for our energy needs. This energy would be so accessible that you might not have to pay for your power bill anymore. In a type one civilization, energy would be as essential as air. One strategy would be for us to turn natural disasters into something positive. For example, we can use tsunamis to make electricity. We could rely less on construction work and use earthquakes to help us change the land. By controlling the planet's energy sources, we could also control the weather. For instance, if a certain place would be experiencing a drought, we could just send rain clouds to bring it back to life. If we become a type one civilization, we might be able to balance the amount of carbon in the atmosphere and end up controlling our planet's temperature. This means that natural disasters will become easier to predict and less damaging. Additionally, we might even be able to live in places we never thought possible, like underwater, on top of mountains where it's freezing, or in the desert. So how close are we to this level upgrade? A recent study looked at the different ways we get energy, like from fossil fuels and renewable sources. Problem is, that each way of getting energy has its limitations. For some, we have limited materials. For others, at least for the time being, the costs are too high. So the team behind this study took a careful approach to make precise calculations. They found that we can reach a high energy level, but it won't happen until the year 2371. This study shows just one way we can become an advanced civilization, but it's also possible that we'll get there in a completely different way. Also, let's not forget, the first rule in becoming an advanced technology is to not become extinct. I know that sounds a bit redundant, but in our quest to harness all the energy this planet has to offer, we also need to protect it to the best of our abilities. Until we manage to travel to the edges of the universe, Earth is still the only place we call home. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.